Good morning. This is a uh, series of videos that I'm putting together for you that will occur in 20 or 21 steps. And I know it sounds like a lot, so I'll keep these videos brief and to the point so that you can just trip right through them and try to get it done in at least uh, uh, less than a week. My name is Eric Johnson. I'm a veterinarian in Marietta, Georgia. I have a specialty in treating fish health, ranging from... Um, it diagnostics and treatments and even surgery um, but let's move on from there this is the introductory vis video I would call it the uh, pond crisis preface um, just opening up the discussion to figuring out what's wrong with your fish basically um, if you're watching this in all probability your fish are sick or something's happening with them and you want to figure it out okay so Kicking off a fish disease case, it's always the same, and I make a big deal out of it. You always start with the assessment of the fish, what they're doing, what the symptoms are, and water quality before you treat anything. Uh, I've seen so many situations where people waste their time running up and down treating what they think it is, and then I'll go out and I'll say, hey, um, maybe it's a low pH, and they'll go, oh, I haven't checked that. And they do, and it's a low pH, and they've wasted all kinds of time and lost more fish because all they had to do was add some baking soda and fix a pH problem. Or trying to figure out what kind of parasite it is when after water quality has been ruled out, they could use a shotgun treatment and have uh, tied it up pretty quick. So let me take you through this so you don't make that kind of mistake. What we'll do in the next set of 20 videos is run down in order what you need to look at as far as probabilities with sick fish. So let's get started next video.